Are you thinking about moving to Naperville and you're wondering where should I live in Naperville? Well, the buyers that I've been working with um, in Naperville, they're either have a desire to live on the north side of Naperville or the south side of Naperville. Um, so today I'm gonna do a video on um, where the dividing line is in Naperville, north side versus south side. And I'm gonna give you some generalizations about the north side versus the south side. I feel like I'm talking about baseball in Chicago Cubs versus Sox, but it's just generalities about um, things that can be found in the north side versus the south side of Naperville. All right, I'm gonna introduce you to myself. I'm Amy Pearson, a local realtor serving Western suburbs as well as downtown Chicago. If you know anyone looking to buy or sell, feel free to reach out. I'd love to help you out. I've been working with buyers and sellers that have reached out to me and I love working with um, buyers and sellers. All right, so I'm gonna give you um, some information about north side versus south side Naperville. All right, so there is a dividing line um, in Naperville. It's actually 75th Street is the dividing line. So anything north of 75th is considered the north side of Naperville. And then anything south of 75th Street is South Naperville. So that's kind of the dividing line. Um, so I'm gonna give you some generalizations about north side versus south side. This is more just kind of like facts about the buildings, uh, amenities, resources that are available just to kind of give you more information while deciding where you wanna live in Naperville. All right, so we'll start on the north side first. So the north side is um, located closer to downtown Naperville. And Naperville has lots of restaurants, retails, and shops. Um, also close to uh, north side Naperville is the newly created Freedom Drive, which is kind of a little restaurant area, it has some retail shops, and it's closer to um, I-88. Um, many of the homes on north side Naperville are a little bit older. I'd say probably average age is they were probably built in 1985. Is, a good blanket I can throw out there. Um, Naperville had a building boom in 1985, so many of the Northside homes were built in 1985. If you're looking closer to downtown Naperville, there's a lot of vintage homes in that area. Some, um, um, but another thing about Northside homes, many of the homes that were built in 1985 actually can have um, a good size square footage. So if you're looking for a good size square footage home, you might want to um, keep your um, eyes open to Northside as well. Um, another thing about the uh, north side of Naperville, some of the subdivisions come with community pools um, and it's usually like a yearly fee if you live in the subdivision to jo join that community pool. Um, most of these community pools were built in the 1980s that are on the north side and if you don't live in that uh, neighborhood you can sometimes join if you're just outside that subdivision. Um, another thing about north side, the trees and landscape is a little bit more mature because that side of town is a little bit more established, so the trees are larger, landscaping is larger. Um, another thing about Northside, this is mostly a generalization. For the most part, most of Northside Naperville is in District 203, which is um, number nine school district in the state of Illinois. I would say overall, all schools in Naperville are really great, top rated schools in Naperville. Um, the thing about Northside, the closest train station on Northside Naperville is the Naperville Main Street train station, which is downtown Naperville on 5th Avenue. And in the Northside Naperville, you have the Main Branch Library, which is located in downtown Naperville. One thing that some people do complain about is it's short on parking spaces, the downtown Naperville Library, but they are going to be building a parking um, deck soon. I'm not sure where that's going to happen, but there is discussion that they'll be building a multi-level parking deck in the uh, Main Street uh, Library location. Um, so that's kind of some generalizations. Um, one thing that some people maybe may not be interested in looking at Northside, the homes are a little bit older in Northside Naperville and may need some updating, but it could be something to look, the free look into if you're looking to a home to update and personalize yourself, or you could get maybe a um, home that's in the location that you want closer to some amenities, maybe closer to your work. So both neighborhoods are great. They're not neighborhoods, sorry. North side, both the south side. They're both great areas. I like them both. It just depends what is important to you. Is it being close to work? Is it being close to certain amenities on the north versus south side? It just depends what's important to you. All right, so south side, Naperville, south of 75th Street. Um, many of the homes built in south Naperville are actually newer homes. So a newer home in Naperville would be anything built I say around 2000s is considered pretty new in Naperville. So there are many homes um, in South Naperville that were built in the 2000s. So that makes it desirable to some home buyers that are looking for a newer home. Many communities on the South Side have um, 
They're built around uh, communities that have golf courses. They have HOAs for larger pool facilities, I would say, because they were built more recently. They've got fancy water slides, a bit more elaborate because they were built more recently. Um, what else can I tell you about these uh, South Side? The, for, for the most part, <laughs> South Side, the school district is District 204, which is also a top rated school district. It is, um, the school district is number 11 in the state of Illinois. But another great thing about South Naperville, um, high school located in South Naperville is Nequa Valley High School, which is actually, um, has a newer facility because it's a newer high school and is the top rated high school in Naperville is located in South Naperville is Nequa Valley. Um, other thing about South Naperville, the closest train station would probably be the Route 59 train station which is a Naperville location. So there are two train stops in Naperville, Route 59, as well as um, yeah, Main Street on Fifth Avenue. Um, South Side Naperville does have additional library locations. So you don't have to worry about driving all the way to downtown Naperville. There is the 95th Street Library location, as well as the Naperville, Naperville Boulevard Library location, which is just past 75th Street. It's a kind of central uh, Naperville location, the 75th. Uh, uh, the neighborhood of our library location is. So both North versus side have great resources, amenities. I recommend both. It just depends what's important to you. So many times I have buyers come to me and they're like, we're interested in North side, we're interested in South side, and we focus in on that. So I'd say take a driving tour of both areas and see what interests you and what might be at your next location for your next home. So um, I hope you found it interesting. I've got a great video coming up as well that you might find interesting. It's a uh, driving tour of downtown Naperville for you to check out. But if you're looking for hot homes in the neighbor location, please check out my website, amy.luxhomechicago, and you can check out some great hot homes that are coming on the market right now. And feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you out if looking for buying or selling in the Naperville or downtown Chicago area. All right, thanks for checking me out.